Hello everyone, my name is Mary Beth. I'm co-founder here at Materio, and I wanted to introduce you to the client experience in our platform. So your design or design build team has decided to invite you to this platform. That's because they're the best of the best. They are super organized and they're excited for you to experience the home building or space renovation process that comes with having a really organized system in team. So I'm so excited for you to jump in. I wanted to cover some of the basics about how you're to get into the system, what you're going to see, and some of the things that you can do with your design or design build firm. So let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing you're going to see is that you're getting an email, which is where you're going to see this video, um, but you're getting this email to join a project. Now, don't worry, you don't have to set up a login at first, but I'm going to show you what it looks like to go through this process. So you're going to get an email. Hopefully, it's going to have a personalized note there. You might see a thumbnail of your project plan or a board, and then you're going to click view project you're gonna be taken to your project screen. Now, you could create a password here and create an account and you can do more things than just view, but if you're not sure yet and you just wanna explore the project, you can always continue as a guest. So I'm gonna click continue as a guest and you'll see here that I already have some information about this project. I can see my floor plan that my designer has uploaded. I can see information about things that may or may not have already been decided. This project already has a few decisions. And then I can even click into these items to see more information about the status of them or what is available. Now you notice here that because I'm not fully logged in, I may not be able to see line item prices. That may also just be a setting that your firm has selected for you. You can explore boards and more. One thing that I would suggest is definitely creating an account so that you can comment and communicate with your design team through the platform. I come down to the bottom right here and click this viewing as guest, and that's gonna pop up the ability for me to create a password. So I'm gonna type in a password here and I'm going to create my official material account. All right, now that I'm in my account, you may see a few action items or things that you can do in this. And as your project evolves with the design or design build firm, you will be able to see different action items here like selections that need approval, change orders that need approval, invoices that need payment, and more. So keep an eye out right here for action items that are assigned to you. You'll also be able to see your firm's branding as well as your project here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this project and show you what it looks like to view that in Materio. Now that you have your project account, you can officially comment and communicate with your design or build firm in very specific ways. So you can come over here to the plan and click this comment button. This is going to be a great way for you to communicate with your firm on specific items, on floor plans, or mood boards. Let's say that you're working to first just figure out what the space plan needs to be for your project or for your home. And so this gives you the ability to give that feedback very candidly to your design firm. Let's say we want to move this sink to the other side of the island. And maybe it's that you have a question. All of that can be shared right here. And now your firm is going to get that notification and be able to communicate back and forth with you. Now, the second place that you can communicate with your firm is on specific items. So you can click into items and you can have a dialogue with them about this. So it may be the first time that you're seeing this project and you may have questions about specific numbers or scope of work. This is a great place to communicate about that. Now the third and last place that you can communicate with your firm is in the selections workspace. So this is where your design team is going to be building out product options for you. You may or may not have the ability to suggest products here, that's all up to your firm. If you just know that as approvals are ready for you, they're going to come here and you're going to get an email to look. Now, if you moved over to the confirmed workspace, you will be able to see this. Uh, you will be able to see payment status on this. So if you've paid invoices, you'll get a great understanding of that. If you have questions about items or you want to discuss this further, you can click on it and this will allow you to open up this product and discuss it with your design team. So just know that you can communicate on the products you can communicate on the scope of work and you can communicate in the plans. As your firm comments back and forth with you, you will see that come up as red on the floor plan here. And you can also always click your notifications tab on the top right and you can look at all or new comments and link from there. Now, when it comes to the finances workspace, depending on the level of visibility that you have on your project, you should be able to see here your invoices and the balances that are outstanding. This is a great way to see your invoicing progress, if you have any retainers, and where you stand as a project in general.
Now, if your firm has shared selections with you, you can see these budgets here and you can see where you're over or under. This is just so you can keep an eye on where things are at. If you have scope changes, which we call change orders, you will see those here. You will have to sign and approve those through the system, but as they're recorded, this is a great way to see documentation of that. If you ever need any help while you're in the system, you can always click help down here below and it will open up a chat so we can communicate with you. A few different ways that your firm has decided to share this project with you. When you log in, you might not always see a scope of work. If so, that just means they're not ready to publish that to you yet. And you also may see different levels of pricing. So you may only see them per category or per location. In that, in that case, it's just the way that your firm has decided to run their business. So just know that nothing is wrong in the system. It's just their preference. If you have any questions about how you can view pricing visibility or budgets, you can always reach out to us or to them to learn a little bit more about how to engage in that way. Now, just remember that you'll always see the grand total down here at the bottom, along with any other fees they may have associated in your sales tax. So just be sure to look there for the grand total. All right, that is an overview of your client portal. If you have any questions about how this operates or how you can communicate with your design team or feedback on how this is working for you, we would love to hear it. You can always reach out to us at hello at material.co. And if you have any questions, don't forget, you can always click help from your project and chat us in the app. Have a great day.